Hi, I'm Ali Velshi with MSNBC. On the heels of two headline-grabbing mass shootings in Atlanta and Boulder, the gun debate in America has re-emerged. And after skirting the issue for over a decade, the Supreme Court might now be posed, uh, poised to weigh in. Let's dig into this uh, a little more on this week's A More Perfect Union with Jeffrey Rosen. Jeff is the president and the CEO of the National Constitution Center. Uh, Jeff, it sounds like there are two Second Amendment questions in play. The constitutionality of a New York requirement for concealed carry applicants to show proper cause and the constitutionality of assault rifle bans like the one that was just lifted in Boulder days before the mass shooting. That's exa exactly right, Ali. And let's begin with the Boulder case. Just two weeks before the Boulder shooting, a Colorado state judge struck down a Boulder assault weapons ban. And he said that a state law passed in 2003 meant that cities and states can't restrict guns that are otherwise legal under state and federal law. The basic question was who decides, the city or the state? And since Colorado decided to allow assault weapons, he said Boulder couldn't reach the opposite conclusions. But the status of assault weapons nationwide is very much uh, contested. Seven states in D.C. have assault weapons bans. Several of these have been upheld in federal courts, including New York, Connecticut, and Maryland. And courts that have upheld assault weapons bans generally give two reasons. First, banning them doesn't curtail the right to self-defense, because there are lots of other ways people can defend themselves. And second, there are legitimate reasons to ban assault weapons because of the unique dangers they pose. Now, the Supreme Court has refused to review these cases over vigorous dissents from justices, including Justice Thomas, who's criticized the court for reducing the Second Amendment to a second-class right. And the court take, could take up this assault weapons question in the future. But as you said, Ali, the question the court's deciding to take up right now is, involves a New York requirement that you have to show good cause before you can get a concealed carry permit. Several states have adopted requirements like this. Courts, again, are all over the map in reviewing them. And in fact, just this week, the Ninth Circuit Court upheld Hawaii's conceal and carry law, which gives permits only to people who can show urgency or need to carry firearms and that they're of good moral character. Four judges dissented, again, criticizing the majority for reducing the Second Amendment to a second-class right or a mere ink blot. So the future of concealed carry laws, as well as assault weapons bans, will be up to the Supreme Court. And we may hear very soon what the Supreme Court thinks about the future of the Second Amendment. This is one of the most hotly debated constitutional topics out there, and you can find more on it on the National Constitution Center's website. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Rosen is the president and CEO of the National Constitution Center.